After you remove your drain plug and your oil filter, just check your drain plug and make sure that it looks okay. Make sure that the head is not rounded uh, like someone had really walloped on it with an impact wrench. And make sure that your gasket looks okay if you have a gasket. This one to me looks good enough that I think I will use it a little bit longer. So that looks good. And then the other thing to check is where your filter seats. So you just took your filter off and this is where the filter seats. And you wanna make sure that you don't have any rubber or uh, other foreign material left on this metal face. This should be a nice clean surface because your new filter and your old filter uh, had a rubber gasket that will seal against this. So you just wanna make sure this is nice and clean, which mine, mine is, it's also very, very hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back in now. I'm going to use a 3 8 ratchet because it really does not need to be that tight. And on my 3.7 liter engine in this 2016 Ford Explorer, the drain plug, the oil drain plug takes a 15 millimeter socket. You also want to make sure that the, the face here that the drain plug seals against is clean. And mine is also very clean. No rubber or any foreign material present on the face, just clean metal. Okay, and that's all the tighter it needs to be. Time to install the new filter and oil. We'll be using the correct Motorcraft filter, FL500S, for this 3.7 liter V6, and we'll be using 5W20. So it calls for Motorcraft synthetic blend or full, full synthetic, and we're gonna go a step above and go with Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic. If this video is helping you, please let me know by liking it or leaving a comment below and maybe subscribing to my channel. So since this filter screws up on the bottom of the engine, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-fill it with some oil. That will just help it get primed when we are starting the engine for the first time. And keep in mind that any oil that you pour in here does uh, need to be subtracted from the total oil that you add. So six quarts is the required volume for this engine so I'm going to add a total of six quarts and that includes what I am putting into the filter here. The filter's mostly full. I'm going to take a little bit of oil and rub it on the gasket. That way the gaskets can make a really good seal and have a little bit of lubrication as it's spinning on. And when you're tightening a filter, just get it hand tight. If you were to take an oil filter wrench or a strap wrench and get this even tighter, really it's unnecessary. You're just over compressing the gasket and it just makes it a bear to get off later. So hand tight, especially too hand tight, is, is more than enough for most filters. The drain plug is back in and the new oil filter is on. So we're done under the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean out all of my tools and supplies. So we're done under the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out all of my tools and supplies. So we're finally ready to put our oil into the engine. And I just like to glance in the fill neck here just to take a look in the engine and kind of see how things are looking. And this engine looks very clean to me. So the engine should be in good working order at least from what I can see, nothing alarming. So let's go ahead and fill it with oil. And we'll go ahead and dump in our Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic 5W20. So we will need a total of six quarts. I've already put a little bit in the oil filter, so we'll probably stick need a funnel. another five and a half or five and three quarter quarts, I would say. I was also watching underneath the vehicle as I filled the oil. An oil filter, so just.
oil was not dripping out the bottom of the engine. The vehicle has Once been a while. You get a leak. level surface now for or more a, than five minutes. Bad gas. So I'm going to go ahead don't, and check the oil to uh, see don't forget how to closely we hit our target of the full mark. Dripping out the bottom of your engine. Pull the dipstick out, hole, wipe it off, and then stick so it I'm back gonna say in. We are in a perfect spot right there. We're just below the top hole. And pull it right back out. Wow, and I would say that is really good. We are right below 